Bepin X is a modding framework for Unity and .NET based games. It will act like a bridge between the game and your custom code, which will let you inject plugins and mods without directly modifying the game's files. To install, you'll navigate to the official Bepin X releases page on GitHub. I'm using the Bepin X Windows 64 5.4.23. You're going to extract that to the same folder that contains your games.exe. If you're working with a Steam game, you can right click on the game in your library, click manage and browse local files. And you can see repos.exe is right here. So I'm going to copy that same file path and I'm going to extract the files there. And you should see these files added to that same folder. Now from here, we're going to launch the game to allow Bepin to create some additional subfolders. You can immediately quit out of it. And now we should see within this folder some additional subfolders, including our plugins folder. And that is where you'll add any .dlls that you either create yourself or that you download. Now within the Bepin X folder, find the config folder and find bepinx.cfg. We're looking for the section that says logging.console. And we're going to change enabled to true and save that. And now when we launch the game, we have a console here. And if you have any DLL files added to that plugins folder, the console will validate that they loaded correctly. If you'd like to test this, you can use this mod, link in the description for repo. This will cause certain item breaks to summon certain monsters. Find the files tab, click manual download, you can extract that to any temporary location to grab this DLL file. And that is what you will drop into this plugins folder. Now, when you launch the game, the console should tell us that it loaded that mod correctly. This particular mod will also tell us when certain items have been loaded into the level and which items have had the break summon hook behavior attached to them per our dot DLL. That behavior is attached to items that spawn naturally, but if you want to quickly test, you can push F8 to open a small UI in the top left and toggle between your options, valuable vase small or valuable diamond. I've got a custom mesh and texture on mine here. We should see that when the item breaks, we get an enemy spawn. Let me know in the comments where you need help and happy modding.